Hi guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So there's been a lot of new and writer videos recently and they triggered me because they all show the same workflow. So at best they show you that you can go to the compare sh2 and copy them and then you go to your favorite copywriter be chat gpt or jasper like in this example and then you paste it over again and you tweak the keywords and get the best score possible and this is the workflow and i find this workflow time consuming and even irrelevant because this is what bad keyword stuffing is when you have your article written and then superficially you're trying to add keywords in odd places in an attempt to get a very high seo score so i wanted to show you the way that is more fluent that is more native and basically you are writing your article with the keywords in mind already so let's begin for this example i have chosen a very low competition keyword which is how to manifest a small forehead and i'll be showing you my workflow for this so this is our h1 which will change um, new writer likes us to populate the title in the description and i won't be spending much time on this this is just our reference point to understand then let's head over to drafts and let's use the h2s to create our perfect outline so we'll choose accept your forehead for this ignore your forehead affirmations reprogram your subconscious fake it until you make it visualize eliminate recite how to know if you have a big forehead why not let go how to cover big foreheads mm -hmm. okay and the thing that slips the attention of many users is that whenever neuron writer suggests an h2 it also tells you which keywords to include for it to be the most seo optimized ever we'll just copy this over and uh, hang on accept ignore affirmations let go how to cover okay let's copy them to the editor what many people don't know is that you actually <laughs> well the score has improved to 68 already well what people don't know is that the neural writer is a ai a very solid ai generator as well so if i go to the first heading here and click better generate it will generate the article including all of the right keywords already and you can tweak the creativity the quality i use the default ones and just for the sake of this experiment let's click generate and can copy to editor let's do this for the next one and i'm showing this to you just because very few people know about it and my current tier allows me for five 45,000 words per month which is not a lot but uh, to make it an SEO optimized draft it is enough and I rarely use it myself but this feature of the correct keywords attached to the correct headings is what separates it at least in my opinion to that of surfer SEO which uh, gives you a list of keywords and the frequency and it doesn't tell you where to put them and it is important it might not be important for the algo but it is important for the user experience and how the content is perceived by the reader because the reader will pick up on these weird keywords in the wrong places each and every time and you can see how our seo score increases with each generation a few more headings that has to be generated and one of the things that i didn't do which i do when i create articles on my own is that i um, make the outline in a story flow and this is just random headings in random order but for the demonstration purposes uh, this will suffice and okay looks like this was the last one 
let's tidy this up and we are already at 81 so the best comparator the best score that the comparator has gotten is 59 and we are at 81 and we haven't even written our intro in the conclusion but what if you don't have this AI writing feature within the neural writer because it doesn't come in with every tier or at least it, it is limited what if you just have the neural writer and don't want to spend the AI credits and you have another copywriter so let's head over to Jasper and let's just let's just rem remember that this score was 81 so we'll go to Jasper and I usually use either the blog post workflow which allows you to pick and choose from different um, headings but in this example I'll start from scratch and this is our headline we'll make it in, in an H1 and let's have some fun while we can let's go to Jasper chat and ask it to list 10 click worthy variations of how to manifest a smaller forehead. And if you took part in any of the old SEO courses, um, they would tell you that it is very important for you to have the keyword in your title. But it's not as important anymore. We'll stay conservative still. The secret formula revealed. This is what this is what we'll use. Okay. Right. And now we have two options. We can do something simple like write an intro for the above. Let's hit compose. Or we can do something fancy. Let's go to our ChatGPT commands library because it is applicable to Jasper as well. And here is the command that I like, which is write an intro about topic. Our topic is how to manifest a small forehead. According to the what, why, and who framework. Mm -hmm. Let's use this one. And I didn't want it to turn into a full on SOP, but when I write my articles, I try to answer the question uh, straight away I, after the intro. So, can you actually? Manifest a small forehead, which is going to be our first H2. See the compose. The answer is yes, you can manifest a small forehead. The key is to understand the concept of manifestation, how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's play around with the outline that we got. So the first one is accept your forehead for, for what it is. And we want to write about this, obviously, but we want to include all the correct keywords. So there are a couple of ways to go about it. The first one is you can go to Jasper Chat and say write a detailed paragraph on accept your forehead for what it is and include the following terms and the way we, you can see the terms is to click expand notes and here they are and uh, I've tested this time and time again, and Jasper is very accurate. It does include all the terms all the time. So most of the terms are going to be included. And this is our first paragraph. 
And let's just check. So we need it forehead except change, low traction, except change forehead. So we can see that many of them of these terms are already included. And another way is to go to the power mode and go to the paragraph generator. And what I like to do is to still include the H1, then the H2, and then we can add up to 80 keywords. So let's go to the keywords once again. We don't have 80, we have much less. So you can include all these keywords. Let's use the default tone of voice. Let's hit generate, negligible. So I'll pause the video and I'll populate all the other subheadings. And here we go. This is the end result and with the conclusion as well, 1300 words. And now let's paste it over to NeuronWriter. And looks like we have the same score. It was 81 before, now it's 80. But I, upon reading the article, I really like the flow of the outputs made by Jasper. And it's a personal preference. You can still use the inbuilt. Uh, Neuron Writer AI Writer, you can use ChatGPT with the same commands. You can use your own copywriter of choice, but you can see how we went to 80 and it didn't take us long. And again, if we are talking about this example here, we are beating the, the competition decisively. And yeah, this is my workflow of how I approach outlining and SEO optimization. Again, it, it is not perfect. Um, ideally, I would have loved to have gone through the outline a little bit more but for the demonstration purposes i think it is sufficient hopefully this video was helpful like share subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one